Hi, welcome to AlphaStar Corporation's demo for 3D printing process simulation. This demo was produced by AlphaStar Corporation. Today, I'm going to introduce you to the Genoa 3D printing software technology, which was a recipient of an R&D 100 award for being one of the most technologically significant products of the year 2015. The problem we are going to examine is the simulation of the additive manufacture of an automobile. This problem had unique issues related to the production process and thermal effects during material deposition. Thermographic images of the production process are presented on the top right of the screen. If you look carefully, you can see the contour of the structure being deposited and filled. The bright color clearly indicates a temperature gradient which is the source of all problems and is intimately tied to the manufacturing process. As can be seen, one layer is deposited on top of another layer. These layers are referred to as beads. Consider the image of the two beads on the bottom left. After the first bead is deposited, it immediately begins to cool down. As the bead cools, it contracts and shrinks. When the second bead is placed on top of the first, it is much hotter than its predecessor, which results in significant temperature gradients between the two layers. The differences lead to deformations, contractions, and asymmetric thermal loading, which in turn triggers bending in the material, interlaminar stresses, and damage. Now let's show how we simulate this problem and ultimately solve processes related to additive manufacturing. The solution approach starts here. The Genoa GUI reads the SDL or the machine G code. Once the G code is read or imported, the Genoa GUI will generate the mesh that includes the material orientation according to the machine head. In addition to this step, there is a material characterization component during which we characterize the anisotropic chopped fiber material. Combining these two, we get a full finite element model, which can be solved in different ways. We have employed both uncoupled and coupled thermal structural analysis. And so far we may conclude the sequentially coupled solution is the most robust and gives us a solution in the least amount of time. Now I will show you how to generate an FEM model which will be used to simulate the 3D printing of a car from a printer G-code file. This file would act as an input for our Genoa 3D printing software. What you currently see on your screen is the Genoa GUI. On the left hand side is a helpful tree structure which supports all the information you need to conduct your 3D printing process simulation. If you drag your mouse over and left click on any portion of the tree structure, a brief description of each category will appear on the right-hand side of the screen. The Genoa GUI comes with a library of real-world projects, test validation cases for different types of service loading, ASTM standard models, code verifications using different commercial software, and step-by-step -step tutorials, including a tutorial for model generation of uncoupled thermal analysis of a 3D printed wall. Each category also contains different types of load cases and scenarios examples. Now let's start a project by clicking on the new project icon. Naturally, we need to have material input for the project. Either fiber, matrix, or ply would be a valid choice for the 3D printing process. We have already characterized our material of choice using MCQ chopped software. We can now import the characterized material into our project model. Next, we open the 3D printing module to start model generation. The mesh generator supports multiple options including G-code importing, export file format setup, display option, and animation. 
There are several different formats used for 3D printing G-codes. During our collaboration with Oak Ridge National Laboratory, we developed a G-code reader that addressed ORNL's preferred format. The tool may be customized to read other user-defined formats. For the purpose of our demonstration, we select the ORNL G-code format and import the CAR G-code. Next, we have to select the type of FEM model we wish to generate. In Genoa 3D, there are three different methodologies or options for FEM solutions. Uncoupled heat transfer, sequentially coupled, or fully coupled. For our demonstration, we choose the fully coupled solution. The next step is to monitor edit the material inputs. Please note, Genoa 3D automatically generates a Genoa UMAT card when importing material into a project model. The choice of a fully coupled solution suggests that we need to pay close attention to thermal properties. For this demonstration, we are importing data that includes thermal properties. Some parts of the model generation section are filled out automatically from information extracted from the G-code. In our project, we currently have 210 layers associated with the FEM model. We may adjust mesh density by changing the number of X and Y divisions. By entering 50 and 50, we can define an appropriate mesh. While Genoa 3D is generating the model in the background, I'm going to present other variables. For example, bead width represents the diameter of the printer head. Starting temperature and end temperature correspond to melting temperature and room temperature, respectively. If necessary, we may include bottom surface as a source of heat. Output interval and number of time steps are parameters for FEM simulation. The dimension of the part in X, Y, and Z coordinates is shown in the fitting section. Dimension may be defined in terms of inches or millimeters. To change units, we may adjust the length ratio value. Three different forms of heat transfer have been included in fully coupled analysis. For conduction, gap conductivity should be defined. For convection, a convection coefficient should be defined. And for radiation, an emissivity factor must be defined. Finally, for cohesive behavior between the layers, fracture energy in normal and shear directions should also be defined. Note, the default view is wireframe. For a more visually discernible perspective, we can take advantage of the solid fill color or angle color. The angle color option displays a color plot of the angles defined for each element corresponding to the direction that they were plotted. The latter option is very useful for orthotropic material, such as chopped fiber, for which material orientation is important. For an in-depth investigation, we may choose to check the mesh layer by layer. To do so, we enter 1 as starting layer and ending layer, which means model generation will take place only for layer 1. Now, click on the printer path line to determine whether the size of the mesh is appropriate or needs adjustment. If it is not appropriate, we may increase the density by changing the number of divisions. By establishing a finer mesh, we may ensure curvatures are modeled more accurately. However, there is an increased computational cost for this action, i.e., a finer mesh may be more accurate, but it demands a greater amount of time and computational resources to secure a solution. 
The choice is driven by the requirements of the project. In the accompanying image, the white lines represent the printer path during the deposition of material. Our final step is to generate the Abacus input file, which is ready to be submitted for the simulation. Once completed, the input file is ready for a fully coupled thermal structural additive manufacturing simulation analysis. Additive manufacturing is a revolutionary science. Simulation of the additive manufacturing process represents a mechanism to evaluate and optimize the results before committing material resources to the actual task. Clearly, material and process parameters will have a significant impact on the final as-built product. Genoa 3D is ready to simplify the process and deliver desired results. This concludes our demonstration of the Genoa 3D printing simulation software. For an evaluation copy of Genoa 3D, please inquire at info at alphastarcorp.com or contact my colleague at asagati at alphastarcorp.com. Thank you for your time.